The rally kit for the x -Pulse. Some people do own it, some people don't own it. Some off-roaders do prefer it and some do not. Now I'm going to be explaining you the reasons that I've bought the rally kit. Now the first thing first, I'm tall. Now without the rally kit, this motorbike just stands way too short. Now with the rally kit, I know it is taller, but it's a lot more comfortable to ride because when I sit on it, It's not like as if I'm riding my sister's bike. I mean, no offense, I'm just tall. So when I sit on the bike, the bike does not sink as much as it used to. I have a lot more suspension going on in the front side. So instead of 190 millimeters, I do get 250 millimeters of suspension travel and also rebound and compression adjustability. The compression is the wheel getting sucked in to the motorcycle chest and the rebound is wheel being thrown back at the ground to be able to grab the soil again. Now you do have a option to change the rebound and the compression adjustments according to your liking. If you're in a hard off-road terrain situation, you just want to have your suspension to be as fast as possible to be able to grab the soil back again, back again with the suspension being compressed all the way and back at the soil again with the rebound. And if you're just riding on an asphalt, like doing a long tour maybe, you just want to maybe take it easier because you don't want to be feeling every single bump of the suspension even if you're not going to be riding off-road the whole time you do have an option to make your suspension softer or harder now with the rear suspension instead of 170 millimeters of suspension travel now you have 230 millimeters with the stock suspension we did have the preload adjustability that makes the suspension compressed so it's it practically makes it harder for the rear to bounce and on top of that you have an option to make the rear suspension softer or harder so as you can see with the suspension you do have quite a lot of adjustability now and apart from that kickstand i mean it's just taller but what i have realized is it's the same material as the older one and it's the same thickness now my older kickstand was not very strong so i had my like a welding support to make it thicker and stronger because I did bend my kickstand once. Now this is the same material. It bends even when I'm shaking the bike. I can see the kickstand bending. So that, that, that definitely is not going to be strong to be able to carry my weight when I'm getting on the bike and off the bike in hard situations because sometimes I just use the, use the foot pack to climb up on my bike. It's definitely not going to be strong enough to hold me for a long duration of time and also not going to be strong for me to load my bike with my luggage. When, when you have your luggage loaded, you add a lot of weight to the kickstand, so it occasionally bends. Since this is the rally kit and I cannot just get a cent center stand, I might have to just see Halilusta again and maybe ask for like a stronger kickstand. All right, so the reason that I bought the rally kit is first, I'm tall and I'm quite heavy. I'm like more than 90 kilograms and my height is one, 193. So I'm quite tall. I'm like two meters long, almost. The first reason being when I'm riding my bike, I want it, it to look a lot taller as me because it just seemed small for my body. I mean, I was able to ride it comfortably. I'm not saying if you're tall, you're, you cannot ride this bike. This is one of the, the most affordable, the most variant like off-road and commuting friendly, cheap to ride motorcycle that you can ride with a tall body because it's, it's comfortable. The, the foot peg location, it makes it comfortable for you to ride. That's no problem at all. It's just that how I felt. This is just me spoiling myself actually because I wanted my bike to look taller and when, I, and when I'm riding I wanted it to feel like more like my bike because right now it just feels right. When I'm riding on it, when I'm just stepping on my bike, when I'm just pushing my leg over it and sitting on it, it definitely feels like my bike. That, that's a fact. And when I'm riding off-road, it gives me a lot more ground clearance, which was 225 millimeters. And now it is 275 millimeters. It gives a lot more ground clearance. And this motorcycle, 
The Grasshopper, as some of you may already know, is the pilot motor to have the rally kit in Turkey. So I'm just going to be using it for a while. And in a short period of time, Önder Motor, the flagship dealer in Turkey, will be making like an announcement, make like an event where they're going to be showcasing the four valve Expose 200 and also the rally kit. All right, so this was me and my f like my first impressions about the rally kit. So far, so good. It feels it feels quite comfortable on the pavement and hell feels so fun on the off-road so i'm just glad that i have installed it it just fits perfectly and one small detail you must have realized that i don't have the rally kit seat installed the reason is i mean i do take the bike on off-road occasionally but usually i commute and also i do take it to long tours so i went to under motor and they installed my rally kit and here's how we did it. Enjoy the video. Just do let me know if you have any comments about the rally kit and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Ride safe and keep on riding. back to the channel this is Artun and you're watching Art and Wheels today the Grasshopper my Hero X Plus 200 a will have a modification done all right so that's the place where I'm gonna have my rally kit fitted on my bike it is the flagship store of Hero Expose 200. It has probably the best service in the whole world. And I'm not exaggerating. They do provide service 24-7. And they have the best mechanic and the service you can probably ever find. Yakup ellerine sağlık eyvallah. Çekilgeye selam. Aleyküm selam abi. Ellerinize sağlık tekrardan görüşürüz. Geliyor abi. 